my name is Ming Fei, and uh, I work in Azure Media Services as a program manager. In this video, I'm going to introduce you how to configure AES Dynamic Encryption through Azure Portal. AES Dynamic Encryption is a new feature that we just launched, allows you to configure AES encryption on your media assets. So when you stream the content from our origin server, our server will dynamically apply AES envelope encryption on your media stream and package it into multiple streaming formats such as HLS, Smooth Streaming, or NPAD Dash. Meanwhile, we build in token authentication service uh, for the key delivery as well. Now let's take a look how it works. First of all, let's navigate to Content Protection tab. And under this tab, you could be able to configure default AES clear key service policy. By default, we are giving you open for key authorization policy, but you could also configure um, token authentication service by filling in the issuer and also the scope of your issuer service. Manage verification key. We use Simple Web Token, SWT, um, and uh, this verification key is used for you to sign your token in the way that we could verify. You can either supply in a random string here or um, generating the string by pressing regenerate button. Lastly, uh, you can type in the claims you want for your token and click on the save button at the bottom of the page. Uh, it will take a few seconds uh, for the portal to save this content protection configuration. Um, one thing to notice is that um, there will be one single policy applied for all the AES encrypted content, but you could do further customization by using the API. Now let's come to the content tab. We take Motivator MP4 as an input for AES dynamic encryption. Uh, which I already have a assets here that I encoded into multi-bit rate MP4. The configuration is really simple. By pressing encryption button, choose enable AES encryption at the bottom of the page. Click on OK. And what happened behind the scene is we are generating a content key um, to encrypt your content and uh, the uh, key delivery policy would be token authentication and also we set the access deliver policy as dynamic encryption. The last step is to publish the content where you will be getting a streaming URL which you can embed in your video player and the player will be streaming a AES encrypted stream. In order for you to test your content conveniently, we also provide a play button in the portal. Supplying a flash player allows you to play back AES encrypted smooth streaming content. Click on the play button. Because we configure the token based authorization, we need to issue the token, um, let you give us the rights to generate the token and play back the content. And now you can see that the token gets generated and uh, the You can also click on issue token automatically for me in the future to test your content. Lastly, uh, it's also very important that in order to use AES dynamic encryption, you need to make sure that you have at least one reserved streaming unit to uh, make this feature functional. Click on the Skill tab, and you will see that by having one uh, reserve unit, you're guaranteed with 200 megabytes per second of bandwidth. Um, and just don't forget to configure that. And thank you so much for watching.